Today I will explain a problem of rigid bodies in equilibrium. In this problem two spheres each of weight 1000 Newton and of radius 25 cm rest in a horizontal channel of width 90 cm as shown in figure. Find the reactions at the points of contact at A, B and C. These two are spheres of weight 1000 Newton and radius 25 cm. Width of this channel is given 90 cm. Now these are the points of contact A, B and C. You have to determine reactions at these three points. First you have to draw free body diagram of these two spheres together. So draw these two spheres first and then two weight vertical downward direction 1000 Newton for each sphere. Now I have removed this support vertical support so I will show one reaction per perpendicular to this surface and at point of contact A. So at this point I will show one reaction. This RA is passing through center point. Another support I have removed is this base. So in place of base I have to show one reaction which is perpendicular to this horizontal surface and at point of contact B. So RB this is also passing through the center of the sphere. Now third support I removed is this one, this vertical support. At this point of contact there will be one reaction. This reaction is RC and this RC is passing through the center point of this sphere. So in this way, in this free body diagram you can, you can see there are five forces RA, RB, RC, this 1000 and 1000 Newton and all of these forces are not passing through a single point. Therefore, this is a case of non-concurrent force system. In a non-concurrent force system, you will have three equations of equilibrium and these three equations are sigma fx equal to zero, sigma fy is equal to zero and sigma m equal to zero. From these three equations you can determine three unknown quantities and in this case three unknown quantities are RA, RB and RC. To apply these three equations first you have to take some reference axis. So this is what I have taken this as x axis, this line and this as y axis. So this is positive x axis, this is positive y axis. Now first apply sigma fx equal to zero. And in this sigma fx equal to zero, you, there are two forces which are in x direction. One is RA, it is acting along this x direction. Similarly, RC, it is also acting along x, x direction. But RA is towards positive x direction and RC is towards negative x direction. So equation will become RA minus RC is equal to zero. From this equation, you will get RA is equal to RC. Now next you have to apply sigma fy equal to zero. So when you apply sigma fy equal to zero, you can see RB 1000 and 1000. All these three forces are along this y direction out of which these two, these two are towards negative y direction downward and this one is positive y direction upward direction. So this will become equation will become RB minus 1000 minus 1000 is equal to zero. And from this directly you are getting value of RB as 2000 Newton. So now, to determine other two forces you need to apply third equation that is sigma m equal to zero. Now you can take moment with respect to any point but you should choose a point from where maximum number of forces are passing. So here you can see this point O from this point O RA 1000 Newton and RB these three forces are passing therefore better to choose this point for taking moments. So I have I have taken this point and applying sigma m o is equal to zero. Now moment of RA will become zero because its perpendicular distance from this point is zero. Similarly moment of 1000 will become zero because it's, it is also passing through same point and moment of RB is also zero because same it is passing through same point. Now remaining two forces RC and 1000 Newton you have to determine moments of these two forces with respect to O. Now if you want moment of 1000 Newton with respect to O you require force into perpendicular distance that means perpendicular distance of this 1000 Newton force from this point O. For that you have to extend this force you have to extend this force and draw perpendicular from O. So I have extended this force and drawn one perpendicular. So this distance you require for 1000 Newton force. Similarly for RC extend this RC and draw perpendicular from O. So I have drawn perpendicular from O and extended this, this RC 
so this distance you require so this distance and this distance are same so you need this and these two these two distances are required these two distances can be obtained from the figure you can see distance of center points of these two spheres these two spheres is equal to 50 cm because here to here is radius and here to here is radius so radius of these two spheres radius of this plus radius of this is 50 because radius is given as 25 centimeter so this distance you have obtained now other distance you require this distance you require so you complete this triangle in this triangle you can see this distance and this distance is you require and uh, this can be calculated from given data first you can see that this distance from this point to a from middle point to a this distance is 25 centimeter radius of this sphere mark this as 25 centimeter similarly this point to c is also 25 centimeter radius of the sphere bring this 25 here now you can see this distance here to here this base distance can be obtained from this data from here to here total distance is given 90 centimeter this one is 25 this one is 25 so if you deduct 50 from 90 then you will get this remaining distance so remaining distance is 40 that means base of this triangle is 40 centimeter now from Pythagoras theorem this is 50 this is 40 so this distance can be obtained root over 550 square minus 40 square from that equation you will get this distance as 30 now you have obtained all distances you can apply sigma mo equal to 0 so first 1000 you can see this 1000 about this point o is towards clockwise direction and if you take rc you can see this is rc so around C, uh, o you can see this is anti clockwise we usually take clockwise moment as positive and anti clockwise moment as negative so moment of 1000 will be 1000 will be 1000 into this distance which is 40 minus rc into this distance which is 30 so from this equation you can calculate value of rc as 133.33 newton and once you get this value of rc put this value here you will get ra as 133.33 newton so in this way you can determine ra rb and rc these type of problems you require to draw free body diagram how to draw free body diagram i have explained in a different video its link is provided in the comment section i request you to watch that video so that it will be easier for you to draw free body diagrams thank you